Hey guys, in today's video, I'll show you how to make this game chart in Google Sheet. There are three key points you learn in this tutorial using spotlights, setting up dates, and creating charts. Let's get started. First of all, I'm going to set up a basic layout. We can add a day picker in our start date and end date using data validation. Link to download the template down in the description below. To resize columns, highlight them, select resize, then change the size. Now insert checkboxes for our task list. Set up priority by inserting a drop down. Select arrow display style. Add a day picker to our start date. I wonder how to make the end date based on the duration dates for my task. The formula will be start date plus duration days minus one because we want both start and end date will be included. Drag the formula to apply to the rest. However, when no start date, the end date is still so. We want to fix that. I leave the formula on the screen for you. Again, drag the formula to apply to the rest. Now let's change the background color. To change the priority, just highlight the cells. Go to data validation, then select the range. Customize the background by using the color tool. You can also change the text color. And I want this in red. Now change the font for the entire sheet. I like to use different font for the titles. Before we move on to the next step, you can add extra columns such as description or a drop down for team members. Now let's highlight this. Copy and paste it here. I'm going to have four phases for my project. But it depends on your project, so you can paste more or less. Let's select the start date as the first day of the calendar. I want to show as number. And for the next day, just add one. Now rack the formula of the second day to apply it to the rest of the week. I want to show the weekday names, but only the first letter. And here is the formula. Now I want to show the first day of the week on the top. Now merge all the cells together. Let's highlight these column and select resize, change it to 20. You can change the font and color here. Highlight these columns again. Copy and paste for the second, the third, and the fourth week.
Now drag the formula to apply it to the rest of the month. And the first day of each week will also show on the top. But I want Monday as the starting day of the first week. And here's the formula. With this formula, when you change the display week, the day will update as well. Now is look good. And if you want to start with Sunday, just change number 3 to 2. Moving on to customize our sheet, I left the color code down in the description below for you. Let's set up the chart using conditional formatting. Select custom formula. With this formula, we check whether the dates between start and end date match the date in our calendar. Now you can change the color. Let's change the day to see if it works. Now copy the formula and highlight the second phase. and change it to row 16 which is the starting row of phase 2 now do the same to the rest With the spotlight, we should calculate the percentage of total completed tasks. With this formula, if you only have one or two tasks, you can delete whatever below it. So it will make your sheet look cleaner. Now we can make the spotlight based on the percentage cell. Is all good?
I want the light to go all the way to the end. To customize the color, just copy the color code and paste it into the formula. Copy the formula and follow the same step for the rest. You only need to change the range. Now let's calculate the total task and total uncompleted and completed task. For the total task, here's the formula. We want to count all the available tasks in each phase. And to calculate the total completed task, we count all the check it check boxes. And for the uncompleted task, we subtract the completed task from the total. To calculate the percentage, divide the number of completed tasks by the total number of tasks. Now you can customize your sheet by adding stickers or extra wig. If you want to learn more about Google Sheet, check out this video. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.